Hello, John Britt here. Today we're going to do a Pythagorean cup, which I heard about. It's a trick cup that people used to make, and uh, they still do. But I so I Googled it and I found it here on uh, uh, Wikipedia. So you can look it up. Here's a, a, they're talking about how, all about it. You can learn about it. There's uh, things they show samples, which we will be doing. So just so you know what it is, it's a cup that um, when you fill it up above this mark, it'll drain out because it has this contraption here. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So first of all, I'm just going to fill it up. See, now it's fine. It's not going to leak. But if I keep filling and I get above this little thing, it starts draining it out. It creates a siphon in there and will drain it out. And they used to say they did it if if you were drinking at a party and then you overfilled your glass, you wouldn't get anything. But I think it's a fun little project for, um, like for high school people or something, to introduce them to like, you know, Pythagoras and Pascal and laws of, you know, fluids, dynamics. Anyway, so that's how it goes. So uh, here's what it looks like inside. I think you can see there's, there's just a cylinder coming up and then this a little cap over it, and there's a hole in it. And when the water fills up to there, it just starts pulling it through, creating a suction. So here are some uh, samples of what I made. And you can see the kind of hole in there. And then here's sort of the parts. Make it a little easier for you. I have a base, and I have the top part. It has just a hole in it. It'll sit on there. And then I have this little part that I made. Then I'll put I'll put that like on top, and then I'll hook it down and make it nice. So um, we can start. I don't know that I have to show you every detail of this because these are in other ones. Like this is almost a lot like the salt shaker idea, and then uh, making a, a goblet is another video I have. So you can watch those too. But I'll just do this to give you an idea. So we basically. We're gonna basic. I'm, I got extra clay here just so that we can show you. And I'm not gonna get too freaky about being perfect. But what we'll do, just like if we were making the salt shaker, I would go down. I want to leave a bunch. So here I've got over a half inch. That's where I'm gonna stop. Then I'm gonna come out. Then what I'm gonna do is go down right in here, push down. So now I've got all this clay I can allow to be a, a little column here. So you, and I go all the way down to the wheel head with my inside hand. Then I can start my pull right here. And if you, you know, if you want, you can use other tools. Like I could use this needle tool and then this wood knife. This is sort of, now you could make a, you could do this in a couple parts also. You could make this as like a teapot spout. And then you could, so you could make a bunch of spouts and leave a hole in the bottom and then hook them down. So if they, if the, say you're doing this for students, if they can't do it like this, there's other methods. Okay, so then I would probably get this reasonably small. And remember that later, we can always cut this off if it's not the right size. If it's too high above the of the cup. So you have to have it below the top of the cup. Okay, so then I would just do my pull here. Now this also doesn't have to be a goblet, it could be a cup. Any shape you want, it's just the idea. Okay, so see there I've got now I have it above, and now I could fit my little thing on top, and we'd be all set. And then the rest of the, you know, project is just static, and that's up to you. So if, you know, you want to make this round, you can. You want to put some lines in there, whatever you want, okay? So that's the basic idea for that. Then we'll do probably the, I don't think I have to do the base for you. What's well, probably the hardest is going to be this little sort of thing, thimbly thing. Because it's pretty small. So I just get a small, very small piece of clay, 
and it'd be hard, it's going to be hard for me to let you see what I'm doing, but I'm basically just centering it, but it's so little, okay, so once I do that, now I'm going to make, uh, make it a, a, this is the shape I'm making, so I'm not going to go all the way to the bottom and make like a bowly shape at the my finger towards the bottom then I'll start my pull okay so you can also do this with the tools if you want like for instance this kind of makes it a little easier if you use a, a knife, knife tool like outside You know, and then you, you probably want this, clean this out. And then you're good to go. One thing I might do before it was finished is get this cut away. Because otherwise you're going to have to trim it off later. And that's kind of hard. Okay, so that's our next little piece. Sometimes I make sure there's no water in there. That's our next piece. And so that's going to be this, which now we would have to, you know, hook this down and trim it, which is kind of difficult. Uh, I can show you, though. I'll, I'll do a little one here. Like I would try to center this reasonably. This one got a little banged up, so I would have some trouble with it. Uh, hold on a second here. Let me do this. I don't think this is flat either. So, these are good to see so you can see the things that I might do. Like I'll probably take this Stanley Sure form and get it a little bit more even. Okay, also, if you don't want to mess with all this, you could just take and hand carve it, like with a Stanley Sure form. It's very hard to not, to, for that thing wants to move real bad. Okay, so that hopefully will be good. Good enough to get us going. And then I get some really small tools probably like this. And just so you know, if, you know, you could just use this Stanley Sure form here. Actually that's not a bad way. See, so that's pretty easy. And then all you'd have to do would be if you got it the right side, you know, right uh, arc that you like, then you just have to clean it up like this. Sponge it. Sometimes I'll take a little rib. Okay, so that's that one. Then the only thing I'm going to do is, like if I have this base that I've made, I have to kind of clean this up a little. Uh, and I'm not doing this really well. I'm just getting, I wanted to show you and not take all day. What I mainly want to do is get this cleaned up in there. 
So I usually just cut away and sometimes I come in with my needle and see if I can get it good. Then I'm gonna, you know, do my trimming. I probably figure out what I have to do is figure out where my foot uh, is gonna go, like here. So we're pretty so I would just trim this back a little and then I would trim this edge too. Sometimes on this, where my stand is, I just come in with a fettling knife. And so because it's you know doesn't have to be perfect down there. Uh, but you can do it however you want. And so the next step will be to connect these. And then what, what I'm gonna do with that is I'm going to then take, I'm going to take, this is the most important part, is you need this to have a little hole in it so water can get up in there. Now what I would want to do is make sure I have the height right. So I know that that's where the top would be if I set it on right now. So that means I am a little bit, I can cut off a whole inch here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just cut off an inch. And I would probably have a few extra just for the heck of it. Then what I can do is test it. And that's pretty good. Now the last thing I want to do, and that's critical, is I need to have like a little, a little channel for water to get in like that. And so I'm going to cut this away. Then I'll just clean it up a little. Okay, and I'm not sure of the if there's a relationship between the size of this hole and the size of that hole and the length and everything, but you can work on that and figure it out. Okay, so that should get you started on the Pythagorean cup. So make about 50 of those and we'll see you tomorrow.